So what did Carl say when you confronted him? Oh, you love this. He said it doesn't mean anything. It was just sex. Oh, yes. Page one of Lanyard's handbook. Yeah. And then he got this zen look on his face and he said, you know, Susan, most men live lives of quiet desperation. Please tell me you punched him. No, I said, really? And what do most women live? Lives of uh, noisy fulfillment? Good for you. <sighs> I mean, out of all people, did he have to bank his secretary? Mm. I had that woman over for brunch. It's like my grandmother always said, an erect penis doesn't have a conscience. Actually, now that I think about it, the lump ones aren't that ethical either. You know, this is half the reason I joined the NRA. Well, when Rex started going to those medical conferences, I'm walking at the back of his mind that he had a loving wife at home with a loaded Smith & Wesson. Lini, Tom is always out for business. Do you ever worry he might? Oh, please. The man got me pregnant three times in four years. I wish he was having sex with someone else. So, is he going to stop seeing that woman? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... I just don't know how I'm going to survive this. <laughs> Listen to me. We all have moments of quiet desperation. But if we can face them head on, that's how we find out just how strong we truly are.